the world is about to find out how little the Chris Top program knows about tile and interior design. Take it from the top. Yeah, I'm on iHeartRadio and Spreaker.com. Oh, their stocks? Worthless. Down the toilet. <laughs> you can either talk in the Kristoff program. Mr. Talk. Thank you for the time. <laughs> entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here my name is dorcas maximus commander of the dorks of the north general of the dork legions loyal servant to the true emperor dork vader and i will have my vengeance dorks of the world unite Mr. Pop. <laughs> Portions of today's broadcast are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either talk in the Christoph program. I am the one and only Christoph. <laughs> you can either talk in the Christoph program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy eye and the divot. We didn't know by the world wide web was a whole different game Been played back when I was a kid Wanna get down in a cool way Picture yourself on a beautiful day Big bell bottoms in cool long hair Just walking in style with a party full and the sweet day You can listen to the music on the Chris Top program You can hear the music on the Chris Top program Chris Top program Chris Top. Broadcasting live from our laddish. 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 We need to change our laddish into our lavish. Laddish to maybe, be in an apartment. Maybe, maybe <laughs> Magnolia Emporium and Tile Bar can help us with that. Maybe. From our lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you, world? Um, well, speaking for the whole world, we're, we're doing pretty damn good. You think, you think we're doing okay? Yeah. I don't know. Stop, don't watch the news. <laughs> Whatever you do. Now, we have a new buddy. We, we have a new buddy. Yay, buddy! We, we actually met her uh, on Twitter yes, we did. yesterday. And she's pretty interesting. I like right, her. Right, and I have no idea where she's from or how to pronounce her name. So, we're going to break it down. Mm-hmm. We we are going to call her. Uh, we're going to give her a nickname oh, there for we the go. show. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, Ruza. Ruza. That's part of her first name. R U Z A. There we go. Uh, and Ruza's fun to say. It is Ruza. We can make up like a cool name like Ruza the Bruza. That's not cool. No. No. Ruza Palooza. That's that's a little bit cool. It'd be like a musical event. That's a little cool. Yeah. Ruza Palooza. Palooza. But I, Ruza was like, she's excited and she was waiting for the show to start. Mm-hmm. So I'm, and, and she's already even even uh, left something in the comments on the uh, on the chat box, and like from what, yesterday. What'd she say? She said, "Hey, she's new here." That's what she said. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but now she's not new anymore. She's like an old friend. So I'm I'm happy she's listening. And maybe if she comes, because she's really super nice. Mm-hmm. So I think she, I don't know where she's from, but I think she must be from the kingdom of niceness. The Kingdom of Niceness. I'd right. like to visit that Ruza kingdom. Palooza from the Kingdom of Niceness. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and maybe we could give her a job. There you go. That, what, what kind of job would we give her? Well, okay. But because she's so nice, and, and, and well, because we can't afford to pay her anything, um, and, and because she's so nice, we'll take advantage of that, so maybe she'll do it for free. Mm-hmm. But she could, be, <laughs> she could be the engineer of love. There we go. On the Chris Top program. So, Spread in that love. Ruza Palooza from the Kingdom of Niceness. Is, <laughs> I like it. Is the engineer of love on the Chris Top program. Yeah, I don't know where all that came from. I don't know where it um, came from either. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to talk interior design and tiles. Ooh. I know nothing about this stuff. You will after this interview. Well, I'm not a chick, you know, because I, I, you're good at that stuff. I mean, you could probably like look at a room and say, okay, this needs to go there. This needs to go there. Uh-huh. You know, and I'm just, I'm just not educated <laughs> I with mean, those things. I mean, it's not just about... 
things in the room. It, it, it even involves like the temperature of the room. It's it's that so, in depth. Well, see, I would want to. I would want it to reflect um, me. I would want it to say, okay, this this is Chris Top's place. Mm-hmm. And see, I have no idea how to go about that. I would help you. I would help you. And 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 maybe 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 they can help. Maybe. I don't know. We'll. I guess we'll find out. And people aren't here to listen to us and what we don't know. <laughs> so we'll be back in just a moment with Magnolia Emporium and Tile Bar here on the Chris Top Program. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm scared. I really am. <laughs> Creating a password. All right, let's try cabbage. Sorry, the password must be more than eight characters. All right, um, boiled cabbage. Sorry, the password must contain one numerical character. Okay, one boiled cabbage. Sorry, the password cannot have blank spaces. <sighs> okay, let's try 50 fucking boiled cabbages. Sorry, the password must contain at least one uppercase character. 50 fucking boiled cabbages. Fucking all caps. Sorry, the password cannot use more than one uppercase character consecutively. <sighs> 50, capital F, fucking boiled cabbages shoved up your arse. If you don't give me access immediately. Sorry, the password cannot contain punctuation. Now, I'm getting really pissed off. 50 fucking boiled cabbages shoved up your arse if you don't give me access immediately. Sorry, that password is already in use. has been a Chris Top production. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top program. Mr. Pop. Take it from the side. You are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. This is the Chris Top program. And I'll tell you what, we do not, nor will we ever take any of you for granted because there are a million other things you could be doing, but you chose to listen to us. And that makes me feel pretty damn good. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, now, we're doing something a little different today. We're not talking to um, a musician or a singer or an author. Uh, we're going to talk tile and interior design. This is very different for the Chris Top program. I'm mortified. Don't be mortified. I'm mortified. So we've got, we've got our buddies Jacob and Randy on the show. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing great. How are you? I'm working on being awesome. Thank you so much. Yo, yo, what up, my homies? <laughs> oh, wait, I, I'm a white girl. I don't know. I'm oh, you're happy. fine. You're good with that. You're good. I was you're trying good. to be cool like so, these guys. Okay, so I don't even know where to start, okay? Because I was just telling Allie before we, before we got you guys in the studio here, I was telling her that I would want my surroundings, my safe haven, the place I live to reflect who I am. But I have no idea where to start or how to go about that. So, so where does somebody like me uh, go yeah. from, from where I'm at now to, to, to something that, that describes who I am? You call 911. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so do we, do we talk tile first or do we talk interior design first? Well, you need the interior design before you get to the tile. Okay. This is true. Okay, so so what would I do? Like, would would you come in and would you ask me questions, or would you just just from what you know about me already, would you be able just to do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, de I definitely would have to take some time. Uh, usually, what happens is we'll come in, assess the uh, assess the space or the entire property. After you passed like, out, after you passed out, and and well, we no, woke you I'll up. I'll have a good stiff drink before I come over. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, you'd be okay then. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> basically sit down with you decide what you're looking for what you really need what your budget will handle mm -hmm. then add on 20 percent on top of that we'll be fine sure, we'll sure. <laughs> <laughs> now now what if somebody came to you guys and said look I, I you know i'm i don't have a whole lot of money to spend and and i don't know really what the definition of a whole lot is mm -hmm. i mean what would you still be able to help somebody that was really really on a budget because i mean that that's a lot of our listeners mm-hmm no, absolutely, and I think that's one of the reasons why I love shopping uh, with Talbar because you can find such amazing deals 
mm -hmm. on tile, on, on uh, mosaics and things like that. Something as simple as that can totally transform a bathroom, a kitchen, uh, a wall inside of as soon as you walk into a house even. Now, you know, when I think about tile, I mean, do you, now, okay, Jacob, do you guys, do you come in and, and, and actually put the tile down or can somebody come in and just say, okay, I want to buy some tile and do it themselves? Oh. Or... So, no, we're, we, <laughs> we actually funny. just sell the tiles. Whenever we get a call about installation, I tell them they're calling the wrong person. <laughs> okay, okay, so <laughs> so you sell the tiles. We sell them. We sell them and... Uh, we sell them to designers and the contractors. They usually know what to do with the tiles. I would have no clue. Yeah, usually <laughs> usually the customer doesn't install themselves, right? Well, they I mean, usually have a contractor. I tried it with Elmer's glue, but that didn't work out too well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. Now, where do you come up with your uh, with your designs for the tile? Um, so actually, that's an interesting question. We usually do it a lot of the designs in-house. Mhm. Mm um, but recently we've been turning to the interior designers to create new designs for us. Ah. Um, I, I believe you actually had Cassie on, Cassie Chapman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she created a new design for us. It's going to be a, a, a new tile line that we're doing with her with some incredible designs. So, and... so she's talented. Like, see, she, she can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's yeah. very talented. She's like Wonder Woman. What do you what do you think about okay I've got a great idea for a tile design what do you think about the Chris Top Program logo uh, on let's, let's do it each each tile yeah yeah maybe we could put that in um, uh, somebody's house ah uh, yeah. yeah it's incredible I just realized now for the first time it's actually a record <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a it is a record it is. yeah yeah I you know I, it, it didn't start out as a record but we kind of made it one yeah yeah. It's that that can be part of our music collection. There you go. There you go. There you, but you know what I was thinking? Um, one of you guys, I think it was Randy, sent me that the link to the cookies. Mm. Oh yeah. And and th that was the the sugar shack, sugar hey, shop. Hey sugar shop, Mary Sh Kate. Yeah, hey sugar shop. She's amazing. Those were cool. <laughs> Those were super cool. <laughs> they, I mean, I could see our logo and, and cookies. We need to talk to them. That would be so cool. Yeah, we could hand those out instead of business cards. Mm -hmm. Here, Absolutely. have a cookie. It's a yeah. great idea. Uh, not only yeah. is the food great, I mean, she can also customize it. Like, I eat organic, so she makes my cookies organic. Mm -hmm. But her logos are in, they're absolutely insane. She And she does for weddings and birthday parties and bar mitzvahs, you name it. Oh, Damn. that's cool. That's cool. Maybe next time we set up in Nashville and do something, we can talk to her and get get some cookies to yeah, hand out. Yeah, that would be really, really that cool. That would be fun. That'd be. I think that would go over better than, well, I don't know, maybe better than t-shirts. Because everybody yeah. loves cookies. Uh -huh, everybody loves cookies. Yeah. If, well, if somebody Randy, tells once, me... once you're on the bar mitzvah subject, we can also make um, TCTP yarmulkes. <laughs> yes, that would be really cool. That would be whatever, really cool. Whatever it takes. Whatever, whatever it takes, you know? Now, okay, if I want to see some tile designs, where do I go? How do I find them? So you can, our website is up at tilebar.com. Mm -hmm. So we have all our collections up there. Um, the new collections that are, be, that are being done with the designers are going to be up in about another month. But um, if you, there are some amazing collections up there. Um, under our new tiles, you'll see some cool designs. Okay, I'm looking right now at your, um, oh, you've got a nice little Ooh. website set up. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing limes and I'm seeing drinks. I mean, are you uh, coherent I when you when you design this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> if if you go um, behind the bar, that's where it all started. Okay, uh, let's see behind the bar. And uh, feel free if you're with me, go to the go to the website and uh, it's uh, it's tilebar.com and uh, just uh, pull up the information um, and and kind of shop around with me a little bit here. Now this I'm seeing everybody that works uh, works for you the team. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Lee, like, completely not there? Like, there is no Lee anymore. She's the she's our mystery creative director. <laughs> Lee's invisible. <laughs> that, that power, though. I mean, we, we've always, we've had some people say that they wanted invisibility as their power, so Lee's That's got true. it. That's true. That's true. Lee's she's got, got it got going it. on. Now, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at the new page, and this is some nice stuff. I mean, and so... Oh my I gosh, wouldn't even know I'm where to love. start. I'm in love with like half of the things that are on here already. I would have no clue where to start. Now, now, Jacob, would you be able to help me pick out something, or would I need to call Randy to help me pick out something? Oh, so there's a we we actually help uh, the a lot of the interior designers are dealing with about twenty different um, 
materials. They have to deal with tiles, um, curtains, furniture, windows. So one thing that we do is help them with the tiles. Like we'll get an idea of the kitchen cabinets they're using or the appliances they're using, and we'll help them match them up to the tiles that we have. Okay. Now, do you do? Uh, do you guys do mostly homes or businesses? Or I'm, I'm guessing you do both. But I mean, who calls you the most? We do everything from a kitchen backsplash to a hotel or a, a skyscraper in Manhattan, a cruise ship, a football team's locker room. We do everything. Oh, that's cool. Now, wow. now, where are you located? So we're actually, our warehouse and our business is located in Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. um, we are opening up a new showroom in Manhattan, mm -hmm. uh, actually this week. And now, do, and, uh, does anybody from Nashville ever call you up and say, "Hey, I need I need a bunch of tile"? N anyone in Nashville? Right, right. All the time. <laughs> really? So you're you're everywhere. We are everywhere. Yeah, we get around. With oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew Randy was going to uh, laugh at that. Yeah. Hey, you, know now. What, you know what Randy posted? What did you Randy... weren't in here. Was it the? Well, no, the... well, we had our conversation, Randy and I, before the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he had to take a shower because he felt dirty. Oh, yeah. I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter, and I think I favorited it and retweeted it. <laughs> Allie's constantly showering, like, every 10 minutes. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Now, now how, did you two, uh, how did you two meet? How did you get together? I mean, it's a, it's a good Twitter. relationship, a designer and, you know, and, and, and a tile guy, right? Twitter. So you met, you met through Twitter, and you became besties. Oh, yeah. We met in a back room on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> they both had to shower immediately. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> let's 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 just like open up an official shower head in Twitter. <laughs> There's a back room that so, needs to be a shower room. Just saying. So your your Twitter paths uh, crossed, and so you guys have actually been working together since uh, since you met on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. we're. We're actually, uh, Randolph has a little surprise about the new design studio that he's building. Oh, well, let's hear about that. Well, one of the uh, pinnacles of the, uh, of the studio is when you walk in, you're going to see Tile Bar. I'm very, very, very excited to announce that I will be uh, showcasing Tile Bar in my studio and will be one of their, their distributors. Very, very excited about that. No way. So people can come into your studio, and you're in South Carolina, right? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, You're yeah. in North Carolina, so they can come into your studio in North Carolina and see see Tile Bar stuff. Absolutely, I'm, I'm so excited about it. Oh, that is cool. That is really, really cool. And that just goes right in line with you. I mean, you you can just pick out the tile to match the person mm -hmm. and go. Now, would you? Okay, now like, say this again because I know you've already said it, but and I forgot because I just don't I don't get it. Um, so, <laughs> it's so, okay, honey. It's okay. So you you kind of come up with the design first and then pick the tile or you would pick the tile and then make the design off of that? Well, it, it depends on what the client wants. If they want something specific that nobody else has, we can go to Tile Bar. We can have their own tile created. No one else in the world will ever have. Or if they have a specific style that they like, or pattern that they've seen, we can we can match it up for them. Very Whatever nice. they want, we can make it happen. Very nice. That's cool. Now, and how, how how do they know? I mean, when you come up with a suggestion, I guess there has to be a, a, a big trust there because, I mean, once you make the decision, you're pretty much going forward with it. Well, yes. I mean, it, it's any relationship is built on trust, especially uh, involving in business or personal, whatever it is. But it's, it's a matter of, Basically, some there's a little bit of leading if they're indecisive and narrowing down the choices to make it easy for them so that they're not overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, putting forward the best quality product you can offer them at the best price, and that's why we use Tile Bar. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I I would need lots of leading. Yes, I think <laughs> you would go there immediately. You wouldn't even think about what I you wanted. You'd just be like, I'm gonna go all. over there now. Bye. Well, I, I would put Randy on speed dial and be like, all right, look. Yeah. <laughs> is, You're my 911, okay? <laughs> this is what I need. I like to liken the tile um, aspect of the design as buying the tie to the suit. The, yes. tiles, are, the ah. tiles are like the tie. I'm not good at that either. Um, you have ties. I do have ties. But you don't even know how to tie a tie. I That's do the too. Sad thing. I do too. When I was doing my cosplay, okay, I... look, look, I, I can tie a tie. Okay, are you wearing a tie with your boxers right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. 
I am wearing boxers, yeah. though. I really am wearing boxers. Uh, I do, I do want to say hello. We've got Sonia in the chat. Uh, she's a, a big, long-time listener. And then um, we've also got um, our new, uh, new friend mm -hmm. in the chat. We're going to call her the Engineer of Love, just because she's so nice. And uh, that's kind of what we came up with uh, with that. But I have no idea how to pronounce. Is it Niru? 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 I, have no idea. I don't know either. I have no clue uh, how to pronounce. I don't even know where she's from, but she's so sweet. And we uh, actually came across her on uh, Twitter yesterday. But we're going to call her Ruza. Mm -hmm. I thought about Ruza the Bruza. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, um, so you, I, I can't even. I mean, tile is an art form. Now, now you've reached out to to I guess different celebrities. Um, and to come up with their own designs. And that's a great idea. I mean, especially if they're all as talented as, as, as Cassie, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, now, can you give me like an idea of her, of her design or, or am I going to have to wait a month? Um, no, she's doing something off the floor de lis. I don't know what that is. I didn't know what that is until uh, <laughs> it's something about... <laughs> it's something, it's like the... Um... The the New Orleans Saints logo came from it. Okay, okay. So so it's going to have sort of that New Orleans feel to it. It's going to have that design in it. It's it's a French. It's it's also in the French coat of arms too, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty fancy. It, oh yeah, it's, it's very yeah. cool. Okay, okay. Now, and what would somebody? Well, I don't guess. See, I guess that's a silly question. I mean, I I was going to ask what would somebody use that particular tile? Like, what kind of room would they use it in? But I guess it just depends, doesn't it? It can use it. It can be used anywhere. You can have it like in the front entrance way as like a rug, um, you know, out of on the floor with mm -hmm. a nice border. You can have it on a kitchen backsplash, a, a bathroom. There's so many applications you can use it for. How about the bedroom? Oh, oh yeah, behind oh. the bed, feature <laughs> wall. There you go. Now, what are some strange? Have you ever had any like strange requests or? Um... Yeah, actually, we got an email from somebody. I think it was in Montana. Mm -hmm. And she asked us if we sell any vertical subway tiles, because in her town they only sell horizontal ones. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? She always was... gets those calls. Always. Oh my gosh. Is that like is that, that like was, something you would take seriously? Or that you was just, legit, right? Like, that wasn't a joke. It was prank. legit. It was in an email. It's hanging in the wall of shame. <laughs> oh my wow. god. Wow. What did you what was your response? Um, yeah, our response was you can actually turn the tub subway tile <laughs> vertically. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you should have told her, well, for the vertical tires, the tiles is going to cost you tw a double. Um, <laughs> but, exactly. But we can it do was, that. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was two weeks before someone emailed me and asked me for my email address in an email. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's great. That That's is great. That's Jacob's life. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I would think, I would think, and 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 Randy, this is for you. Be, being an interior designer, I would think that's you're doing something that you love doing, and and with your and with both of you, with your jobs, you get to go in and you get to just, I guess, help make somebody happy, and that's kind of what it's about, isn't it? It oh, yeah. is. It, it really is for me. I mean, this is something I've been doing for 29 years. I started when I was in high school, and I didn't always do it. Um, as you know, for a job for full time, but even for old clients, I would still go back and do work for them. But I think one of my and I've worked with a lot of people, I've worked with celebrities over the years, I've worked with heads of state, royalty, and just the average everyday person. But I think the biggest reward I ever got, um, was just recently, and it was one of the reasons I think why I went back into this field because it is, it is a passion for me, it is a true love. Mm -hmm. I updated a kitchen for uh, a woman who was a neighbor of a client of mine, and she was on an unbelievable budget like that just did not exist. And she says, I know I can't afford you, but I'd love to know I need this and I need this. Is there any way you can help me? And I literally did all the work myself. I bought all the materials from Habitat for Humanity. And at the end of the day, I pocketed, I think it was about $42 out of the budget. <laughs> right. And she just cried. And she says, this is the nicest kitchen I've had in over 40 years. And Aww. she's like 67. Oh, that's, that's really wonderful. nice. That, is. that 
that to me was the best gift of all. That is wonderful. And I bet I bet you've got uh, more stories like that too, don't you? That's see, that's a few, a few, that's, yeah. That's cool. You no, know, the things I, that they do, they can really change lives, and I I really like that about you guys. Now, do you um do you ever post those uh, those little intimate stories like that? Uh, maybe pictures up on 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 a website or anything. I do sometimes. A lot of my work, I still have to scan in because I'm. A lot of my work is still back from the Stone Age. <laughs> All on 35 millimeter film. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to revamp a lot of my. Uh, I have some stuff up there that's basically just in the last three or four years that I've done, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, not a whole lot because I just relaunched this this new uh, this new business, and um, so I'm I'm still getting a lot of the work up there. But I post it on Facebook. I'll post it online as well. Uh, there's some images on some Facebook folders, so you can see some things there. Mm -hmm. uh, but like on Facebook, a lot of that is just daily inspiration. I have over 4,000 people that follow me right now on Facebook up from like a thousand uh, last year oh, at wow. the same time. And the people, I just, I love to offer inspiration and it's an outlet for me to just share what I love to do. You know, it's funny. It, it's so funny, but I see tweets all the time with the little links on them for pictures and stuff, and yeah. I, I rarely click on them, but I, every one of Randy's I click on, and I, I thought I could have cared less about uh, a living room or a bathroom or so and then i start looking at these pictures and i'm like ooh that's cool they're really nice i, I mean, would like to have that you know i think yeah there's so much more that goes into things than just like the original design i mean these guys they can transform an ordinary room into an extraordinary room are they paying you for this or what i'm are just they? saying it, it rhymes and, it, and it's true <laughs> so if it rhymes and it's true then you got to say it then you got it okay now okay what's this new business you're talking about randy well, Magnolia Emporium, I launched it uh, four years ago while mm -hmm. I was basically sitting having coffee in uh, uh, the Jardin of San Miguel de Allende, uh, listening to the church bells go off and, and uh, enjoying a coffee. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I needed to do something. The economy had just collapsed. I needed to start a new business and go back to work again and everything. And my mom, uh, I called my mom on my cell phone. She was in Palm Beach. And I said, what should I do? She says, well, what do you love? What's mm -hmm. your passion? I said, well, it's always been designed. She says, well, there's your answer. Open another shop. I said, okay. There you go. Wow. So you, you sit in these inspirational places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess when you, I, I guess that's important to travel and really pay attention to things because you, you probably get a lot of your ideas, I guess, like that, I, I would think. Inspiration from a flower, a pair of shoes, a piece of art, a door, tile. It doesn't matter. Literally, I can create an entire room out of a sample of tile. That's cool. And you probably get a lot of inspiration as well, I would think, from uh, from great radio programming. <laughs> I do, actually. It, it, it reminded me that I needed to add more towels in my bathroom. <laughs> I, I needed to scrub my towels as well as myself nice. after talking to you. But, See, yeah. Randy and I are already best friends. I can just feel this. <laughs> By so, listening to the Chris Top program, it reminds you to clean your bathroom. Well, we've been Twitter buddies. <laughs> we've, we've been Twitter buddies that for, dirty bathroom. for months now, and um, and I just got around asking asking to be on the show, and I I had actually asked Jacob, I guess, a few weeks ago too, and it takes me forever sometimes to get around to stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's all good. After I heard your interview with my cousin Anna, I about fell on the floor laughing. I mean, it was so good. I sat there and went through every freaking show that you did. Uh, it was, and I listened. I love listening to er uh, Erica and, mm -hmm. and uh, just all of them. I think they were just fantastic. I need to get them all on at the same time. Oh, oh my God! Yes, you we do. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be drama central. There could right be a cat there. fight. <laughs> you never hey, know. Anything for ratings. There right, you go. exactly. Exactly. That's how we do it around here at the Christophe Program. <laughs> now, uh, JP in the chat, he said hello uh, to you guys. He wants to know how you're doing. JP's in, out of Canada. Oh, I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> why yay, do, why do I think that Canadians. you're lying? Are, are you lying? <laughs> no, no, he. I, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, yeah, it really yeah. is? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like, oh, yeah, I'm Canadian too. Oh, cool. I'm in Toronto. <laughs> We have a lot of Canadian uh, acts on the show. There's actually a Canadian showcase that's going to be coming up in um, 
Nashville at the end of October, I think we're going to cover. We're going to get out and hopefully meet some people that we've interviewed and, and talk a little bit with them. So that should be fun. You know what? I wish I could do Are like a Canadian accent. Involved in this? There could be. Maybe some flaming hoops. I don't know. Okay, you I, never I know. There. <laughs> I think you should get the Mounties involved. <laughs> we could. Yes, yes, get the Mounties. The Mounties are cool. <laughs> Uh, now, Randy has, has been sending some selfies, and I used the one with the uh, with the business card because I, I, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. gotta yeah. Go, gotta love those selfies. Like your your life is not complete unless you have taken one selfie <laughs> of yourself. I I abhor cell phones. I really do. When I moved back from the when I was living in the Philippines, I was on my cell phone like nonstop. I was mm -hmm. I was texting before anybody in this country was texting. And <laughs> you were a I, texting pioneer. I was. <laughs> I was so sick of a cell phone. I sold my cell phone. I didn't want to touch another cell phone. Mind you, I've had cell phones all the way back to the days when they were bag phones. So Whoa. I've had wow. them for a while, okay? Wow. And I did not touch another one until uh, a friend of mine, Kelly, uh, she's a, an actress, Kelly McGillis from Top Gun. She's in Hendersonville. She's a friend and a client of mine. And... Mm -hmm. She gave me the hardest time because I didn't have a cell phone. So <laughs> I finally got a cell phone, and it was like this little, like little Debbie cell phone, throwaway cell phone, because I just did not want one. Sure. And now I'm totally digital. I Skype, I tweet, I, I Facebook, <laughs> I Instagram, I do the whole thing, and now I do selfies. It's just ridiculous. You know, it's funny because I could, I could tweet you any time of the day it doesn't matter and you're going to respond within mm -hmm. 20 minutes at least like a bounce. <laughs> the, the thing is that's surgically attached to me and i tell that anybody who calls me they're like well what's your cell phone i said it's surgically attached here's the number <laughs> nice that's nice. great that's now jacob what was your inspiration did you just wake up one day and say okay i i think i want to design and sell tiles well actually i was i was selling medical equipment for four years and then Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you go from medical equipment to tiles? Well, I don't want to say his name, but there is a certain uh, public figure who, who cut all the Medicare reimbursements. Mm, gotcha. And, uh, and um, uh, penile implants just took a nosedive. He couldn't sell them anymore. <laughs> no, there's, uh, there was no more, uh, there was no money left in that, in that industry. So I got this opportunity to sell tiles and... Here I am, and you just went with it. It's a very short story. <laughs> yeah. Now you, um, now you, you're like the the you're the owner of the company. I'm not the owner. I was brought in to start this trade division called Tile Bar. Okay. Okay. But so you're you're over the the Tile Bar section. Yeah, it's the designer uh, trade program. We sell to designers and and developers, architects. So we we bring in our tiles directly, and mm -hmm. we're able to offer that service and you know we have everything stocked the pricing everything is just there for the designers to take gotcha gotcha this stuff is just so just beyond me it is is it like over your head it is way over my head <laughs> way you know, over I, my head it's tiles are never ending i was at a show in vegas a few months ago um i won't tell you the details on on air <laughs> but, <laughs> but there was, hey close now to, <laughs> close to a thousand tile exhibits from around the world and that was just the tip of the iceberg of the tile industry. Holy cow. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's true, though. You walk into a, to a house, I mean, the, the tile is one of the things that you just notice uh, right yeah. off the bat. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, and it, and it, you know, it, it could make or break a room, I guess. And I, I, don't, I don't think about these things until I, well, until I guess I really sit and think about them. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I just, I'm just not mentally capable <laughs> but I, I guess I guess if I if if I expose are you, myself, are you like a noob to this? I thing? am, I am. But see, I want to learn, and I'm willing to do it and, and make an idiot out of myself on the show. I don't mind. I, I'll tell you what, Chris. When you come to New York, mm -hmm. we will bring you to our business and roll out the red tiles for you and give you a tour. <laughs> Uh, I was loving it. Yeah. Literally, literally, tell them about the carpet. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. There's a new show um, that's coming onto the Design Network, mm -hmm. and we are making a red tile 
out of carpet, out of carpet, out of tiles. A red carpet out of tiles. <laughs> it's a tequila and it's Sunday. <laughs> That's it's, really cool. Uh, we're making our red carpet out of tiles with the show's uh, logo on the on the carpet. Um, that would be it's cool. It's gonna be mm-hmm. like one of those things where it's gonna be featured in all the shows. Mm-hmm. Um, it's gonna be the first ever red carpet out of tiles. That would be cool. That would be yeah. fun. Maybe maybe sometime when when we're in New York, you, uh, we can just stop by and do some live broadcasts from there and, and oh, just we'll oh, have absolutely. a party. We have a great venue for that too. Yeah, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. That oh, would yeah. be fun. That would. We I'm can give all away some it. some tile squares. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a tile square. That would actually make a pretty good business card, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. It would make a very expensive business card. Well, you know, I mean, you get well, I mean, if you're selling to these like you know big clients. True. Like these, you know, mm-hmm. they would they would pay you know, tw- ten to fifteen dollars for a tile with their stuff on it. Mm-hmm. So that's a good idea. Yeah, it really is. I like it. Yeah, well, people a... are people are paying hundreds of dollars a square foot for tiles today. Wow. That's... Now, Damn. what 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 does it range from? Like, what's what would be like the 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 bottom line to the top line? Okay, so the bottom line of the tiles are the um, you know, there's the cheap tiles they use for like cheap commercial buildings. You can get for like less than a dollar a square foot. Mm-hmm. Um, our mosaics, you know, the, the backsplashes, bathroom tiles, they go anywhere from seven, eight dollars on clearance up to over a hundred dollars a square foot. Wow. Mm hmm. Wow. And people buy a lot of square feet or footage. Oh, oh yeah. A lot of square feet. I couldn't even, I couldn't even imagine. Square footage. for For our listeners in Canada, they buy square meters. Well, there you go, and that's that's for JP. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's very helpful. Uh, it's, JP, it's J- not just for a backsplash too, or or a bathroom floor or shower wall. You can transform uh, a staircase by tiling the wall going up the staircase, or even at like the top of the stairs or uh, a wall. As soon as you come into the house, cover the wall and tile. It's amazing. Well, see, I don't even, I don't even think about this stuff, and, I, and I'm trying to visual. You're gonna have to send me some links. Of some look pictures. At, yeah. Look at what uh, Jacob just posted on Twitter. He just tagged you on it. Look at the wall. It's amazing. Okay. Um, Twitter, I'm here go we look. go. And uh, let's see. JP wants to know if you would come to uh, to Canada to design a room. I just saw that. And yes, I've worked in Mexico. I've worked in the UK. I've worked in the Philippines. I have done a little bit of work in Japan one time before. So yes, I have no problem working in Canada. Oh, um, that's okay. beautiful. Yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. So those are orange, um, it's glass tile, and and we sell them in two by eights, and they created a herringbone pattern out of it. That is super, that, that is super cool. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine the work that goes into put, putting that up. I guess if you know what you're doing, I guess it's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll send the bill to Uncommon Orthodontics for that free advertising. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what? I can't find Jacob on Twitter. What's his Twitter name? <laughs> tile Bar. Tile, tile bar. bar. There you go, right there. But yeah, that's uh, that's absolutely beautiful. I need some more links to to some more work, and we'll I'll post those up on my Facebook page as well. But, Chris, um, I'll tell you what the the best place for inspiration mm-hmm. um, besides our website is um, house dot com. Yes, H O U Z Z or Z Z dot com. <laughs> so H okay, it's H O H O U Z Z Z Z. In Canada, they say Z. Okay, so let's check this out. So this is um, this is cool. See, and like I said, I didn't think that I would ever be interested in this kind of stuff. But the more I look at it, the more I find myself wanting to watch uh, like the the home design network and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we uh, can just, actually you know, yeah, know just what because to it's do. fun. Yeah. Uh, it's fun to look at. I mean, even if you're not planning on doing anything anytime soon, it's just interesting yeah. um, to me. Oh, I love that one. The I see that bar in there. I should have never came to this site. <laughs> now we're like, ooh, fascinating. So okay, so we'll be on this I'm site for about you, an hour. I'm going to ask you guys this question, and I ask a lot of people this, but where do you see yourselves, um, say five to ten years down the road? Where do you see yourselves? Um, I guess um, with your with your work, or will you still be doing the same thing, or do you do you think that far ahead? Well, I see myself on a backsplash, grouted and all. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, what what about you, Randy? What are you What are you going to be doing? 
I actually hope I'm still doing this. For for me, at 45, I feel that this is a really, kind of like my last opportunity to make a really great go of, of, of a good business again. So mm -hmm. I want to see, I want to see myself doing this, you know, uh, a decade from now uh, to be able to franchise my business. And then a few years after that, I want to sell it and go back to, to retirement again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, in, the, in, in all seriousness, though, we, we started this um, pro uh, trade division about eight months ago. Mm -hmm. um, our, our company is a pretty young company. We started about eight years ago. Um, we're all about the same age, uh, low 30s, and we have close to 60 employees in seven years. Mm -hmm. And I want to see a tile bar showroom in every big city in the country, and we're going to do it. Oh, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, you, need to come, you need to get to Nashville pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's on. That's on the. That's next on our list. That's nice. See, I would like to go to the showroom and look. I mean, just to just Me to too. look because I'm curious now. Me too. Maybe we can open a showroom in your studio. You never know. You never know. You never. I mean, if you would tile everything for free, and then <laughs> there we, we go, totally. we can arrange a little. Um, I seriously went. I just seriously had a brain fart. <laughs> we can okay. arrange a deal. I don't know why I couldn't say deal. <laughs> deal. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Deal. Well, you never know. We'll, we'll have we'll our people contact all your people. tiles for free. And then, uh, could you supply somebody to put them in? Uh, Randolph can do it. Randolph, there Randolph can do it. I have, I have some vendors in Nashville. We can take care of that. No, I Wait, want you to do it, Randolph. Come on. Grab, right. <laughs> actually, believe it or not, they can. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah, Anna, Anna actually is. She's actually really amazing. She's got a lot of actually a lot of people in my family have this like DIY kind of gene. Mm -hmm. we, just, we just all of us have it. We have like a, a we're gifted that way. Have an artsy, craftsy kind of kind of like mentality. We're not afraid to just kind of go in and just do it. Yeah, sure. See, I don't have that gene. I mean, I can Me I can neither. talk. <laughs> I can talk all day on, on the air, but I can't, you know, I don't. I would pick stuff that I like that wouldn't even freaking match. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but this is fun. I see, I like learning new things. Now, now there are some, uh, okay. Now, I, I want to bring this up just for a second. And, and I want to have you guys back on because I know, Randy, there's a, there's a charity that I want to talk about uh, that you are, are starting. And... Um, what I want to ask you, I guess, is can we have you on Tuesday night to talk about that? Because I want to promote that show just a little bit before we do it. Absolutely. Sweet. Hey, you said so on Twitter. See, and so. I've got the I've got the inside scoop on this. You know, you know nothing about it. You know nothing. I will learn. <laughs> but we we can definitely talk about that. So what's what's um, some exciting stuff or some interesting stuff that's coming up uh, for you guys with uh, with your career, with your businesses? Any anything in the works? Well, we. Everything is exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we relaunched our website about a month ago. Mm -hmm. It looks um, amazing. Yeah, we're opening up our showroom in Manhattan, right in the Tile District. Um, we're doing a soft opening this week, so that's a big, big uh, milestone for us to actually open a physical showroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so another thing is the co-branded tile lines we're doing with like famous designers and celebrities, singers, whoever. Um, it's just there's so much happening in our company. It's just a very exciting time for us. Dude, Jacob is set, mm -hmm. I think, for life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the way Talbar's taken off, it will be. He will be. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. And you just you just uh, decided to get out of the out of the medical field and or out of the medical sales field into into tile just like that. And, well, and, I was and, I was never passionate about medical equipment. It's just the sales um, part of it that that I was passionate about. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess once I started selling tiles, my, my inner design just has been unleashed. I can see that. I mean, because it gives you a chance to be creative, and that's something that, that you do love and have a passion about. Absolutely, so, yep. Yeah, yeah and, and I guess, you know, when I think of people being creative and, and, and doing, I, you know, I think of painters and singers. But, I mean, even if you have that painter mentality, you can go into something like this and, and still be creative and satisfy that hunger. Um, sure. So that's neat. See, I'm I'm thinking outside my my box. Mm -hmm. now. <laughs> I didn't know you had a box. I, I do. I really You've do. You got a box. It stays closed most of the time. <laughs> Would oh. you stop? <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, okay, so okay, I have a really important question to ask both of you. Sure. Okay, now this this is deep. Okay. Y'all better so be sitting down. You might want to sit down. Maybe take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready? Should I take another shot before you ask me this Go question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Community shot time. <laughs> okay. If if you could have any 
superhero power, what would that power be? Wow. I know, I know, I know. Deep, 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 deep stuff right there. Deep stuff. I know mine already. What's that? <laughs> is this going to be dirty? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it never is. Never. No, I, w- I would be able to fly. You would fly? Why would you fly? I'm trying to think deep of dirty point. reasons why he would fly. I know, that's fine. <laughs> Well, well, let me think about that one, actually. Well, no, because, frankly, I could fly to all my clients and get their jobs done a lot quicker. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a good... That's a good. You know, we've had... You know, you could go one step further, and you could just learn how to teleport. That... Oh, let me tell you. I'm all about some Star Trek, so, yes, I would do that, That'd too. be cool. Me up, Scotty. That would be cool. Yeah, that and, then, really and when he needs to go to a shower, he doesn't have to walk. He just teleports he just to teleports whatever to the shower, shower he wants. Or he could po- possibly teleport the dirt off of him. And never have well, to take a shower. He put on a, a pretty a pretty good display of Star Trek before when he helped me set up my Skype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I'm helping you guys in, uh-huh. in one way. I'm... Yeah, so my, my superpower, I would love to be able to read people's minds. Oh, see. Oh, we well, we yeah. could make that one real dirty. <laughs> we hear that a lot, but I think I would be just afraid uh, to be able to read somebody's yeah. mind. I used to want to do it. Now I'm thinking I would probably be paranoid. I've got I'd you scared, like, don't I? My talk. I mean, I would be worried that I wouldn't have any friends. We probably <laughs> wouldn't have friends. Everybody <laughs> would be thinking, man, I wish they would go away. Everybody has those thoughts. Though. It like, scares me. You know? Uh, okay, inspirations. Like, who are some inspirations uh, for you two? Like, what um, if you had a chance to, to sit down for 10 minutes have a cup of coffee with anybody. This person could be living. This person could be dead for 5,000 years. doesn't matter. Who would it be? Wow. Larry David. Uh, who's Larry David? From Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, who's, who's, this, who's this Larry guy? No, it's it's one of those uh, like design shows. <laughs> right? Uh... No, he's, the, he's, he's on the Seinfeld show. Wait, on this... Wait, who does he play on that show? Do they have Seinfeld in Nashville? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched I've watched Seinfeld, but it's been a few years, and I, I know I know a couple of the characters, but I don't know their real names. You don't because the show's about nothing. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. That's but true. My favorite my favorite episode was um, the, one the about shrinkage nothing. shrinkage. <laughs> Um, when he got out of the pool and, and it was George ah! that had the, had the shrinkage. Damn. I've never seen that episode, but I can That's only a true imagine. problem. It's a real problem <laughs> that people have. I think somebody's had too many drinks. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, One Randy? Hurt, who, would right? you, who would you sit down with? Um, probably Dorothy Draper. Dorothy Draper. Why Dorothy Draper? Who's Dorothy she, Draper? She's probably, in my eye, one of the the best designers. And it's a woman who was never even an interior designer. She was an interior decorator. And she transformed the industry. But, I mean, that would be somebody who was not, who's not living. I mean, otherwise, my godmother and my mom are, are really my biggest inspirations. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I grew up watching Susie Q. Yeah? She was a designer. I liked her. Yeah. So I don't know any of this. I, I watch the cooking shows. <laughs> you would. Uh, those are fun. Those are fun. Uh, we've got some people. So Martha more, Stewart. I get more inspired by the world than by people. You know. You know. You could uh, actually base a lot of your designs off of um, the cooking shows. I wait, bet. wait, wait. Hold on. Did you say you're more inspired by the world than people? Like, what do you mean by that? That's that's like, very interesting. It's pretty I, deep. I, uh-huh. I don't get inspiration from one from one person like specifically. Mm-hmm. I I get inspiration from everyone I meet in like a just from everybody in the world, how everyone's so different and has different yeah. backgrounds and ideas. Just the world as a whole inspires me. That's really cool. It's it sounds like uh you, you don't let things get you down. You still look at everything in a very in a very positive light. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a very very, very mm-hmm. positive person. And that's yeah. not always easy to do. Yep. So that's good. I, I definitely commend there's, you for that. There's so many negative things going on in the world, and it's mm. easy to slip into that what was me kind of mentality. But and it's good. Stay it's good that they're yeah. both positive the way they are because you don't want to walk into a room in the house and get depressed. You don't! <laughs> right? At the end of the day, life is too fleeting. Enjoy every second of it. Enjoy every moment, every sensation. Just just enjoy it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> I want to say hi to uh, Valerie that's over on the uh, the Spreaker chat. And Valerie. also, we've got uh, Apocalypse that's over there as well. They're listening to Interior Design and Tile Talk. I think I've met Valerie before. Here on the Chris Top Program. Mm-hmm. And you guys need to come over to the ChrisTopProgram.com and join the uh, the chat there. That's, that's where the real chat's that's happening. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one that's we mainly right, watch. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the one we mainly, mainly watch. Um, now, if you guys were going to offer any advice uh, to anybody that wanted to get into the interior design business or into the tile business, um, what would you tell them? Well, I would I, see. I'm in the sales and marketing end of it, and mm-hmm. that's what I've been doing with my life for the last five, six years. I would. I always tell people just be real, be yourself. Don't ever sell. Just, just get to know people, and that's what sells. You know, um, and I think that that's I, my. What was that? I think that's true. I mean, and plus, you you have to believe in what you're selling, and and you have to trust yourself what you're selling. I mean, if you go in and try to sell a used car to somebody, see, I could never do that. Right, absolutely. Um, it's all about being real, being yourself, and, and just being up front with people, mm-hmm. getting to know them. That's what makes people want to do business with somebody when they trust somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's, you know, as the same thing with an interior designer. There, if, if somebody meets with an interior designer and they feel like interior designers just trying to make a dollar off them, they're never going to keep them. Sure. The interior, sure. You know, it's all about trusting the people that you're working with. Sure, absolutely. And that's there's so much truth in that. Um, you know, I, I couldn't imagine trying to sell something I didn't believe in or, or trust myself. But Definitely. you know, if it was something that I that I I did believe in or used myself, then it, it'd be easy um, mm-hmm. to sell. And I can definitely tell that both of you uh, for sure love what you do. Um, well, and, what, and what Jacob said really kind of falls in line with with my mantra and what I believe in. And, so many designers make a mistake, and, and I've seen it over and over and over again, whether they're out of school or that they just haven't allowed themselves to just relax, is they will impede their style or their design and say, this is how it should be, without ever listening to what the client wants. They're the one that has to live with it, nobody else. Mm-hmm. Make them happy. They, It's what they want. Give it to them. Mm-hmm. Sure. Now, what if I came to you and I said, you know, I, I love Elvis Presley. I, I want my house to, to reflect Elvis. What would you say to me? It would be the best Elvis house you've ever had in your <laughs> life. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can hook us up with a jungle room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I can make that happen, as a matter of fact. How about, got, how about a jail house room? I have some leopard velvet <laughs> panels that we can put on the wall. <laughs> and we have actually, we have a new line of tiles that are made out of sideburns. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> That's funny. That would be fun. That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh. See, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, what I, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, now how would I want my living room? How would I want my but and and I would want just these drastic changes, I think, for every room, but but they have to still work together though, I guess. Um There needs geez. to be a flow as much as possible, yes. Yeah. See, I, see, he's throwing words of flow. I mean, I just, I don't even think about this stuff. It's got to, though. I mean, if it doesn't, then it just looks weird. And people, when they come over, they're going to be like, ugh. Well, see, we're, we're working on, hopefully, eventually, getting, um, getting a, a, a different studio. Mm-hmm. Um, so we may be definitely getting in touch with both of you um, <laughs> for that. Because Listen, see, I design studios, coffee shops. I've dressed uh, TV sets. You name it. I'll come and do it. Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. I'll, I'll drive the, t- the tiles down myself. <laughs> there we go. We can have him on the show. Mm-hmm. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Uh, JP says, uh, last question for uh, Magnolia Emporium. Who do you want to design for and why? Any famous celebrity person, including Chris and <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so any, anybody that you, you would just be dying to design for? Um... Anyone that I know really deserves it, who's in need, more than anything, I think. Oh, that's really um, cool. As far as this, any anybody in particular, the last major house that I staged, uh, my cousin Lisa sold and Taylor Swift bought it for her parents. Whoa. Um, oh, that's neat. I've done stuff for, you know, Kelly McGillis. I've done stuff. Uh, I did something years ago for Burt Reynolds. Uh, oh, um, cool. You know, just a lot of people, but that that's not what drives me. Um, at the end of the day, whether it's it's a nurse or a retired, you know, travel agent or or somebody has no budget. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, if they're happy with the design, that's all I care about. 
It doesn't matter who they are. Nice, nice. What's the longest you ever spent on a project? Uh, uh, about thirteen months, I think. Holy cow! Uh, who? What was that about? Who was that for? <laughs> no, you know what? Actually, I have one longer. Um, here's one right here in Charlotte. I just forgot about it. <laughs> uh, I've literally been working on this one for close to two years because they they ran short on money. Mm -hmm. And so they had to do everything in stages, and it was—it's been a complete, total gut and renovation. As a matter of fact, there's pictures up on my on my uh, on my uh, Facebook page about it. But we tore out the walls, we redesigned the outside of the house, we added a porch. Uh, it's a complete gut from head to toe, plumbing the whole nine yards. But one that I was actively working on for the longest time would have been about 13 months. Wow. So you put a you you could put a, a lot of time or you could put a couple hours, I guess, in any project. Sure. I mean I can go in just to stage something for a house that needs to be sold. Mm -hmm. I'll go in, we can stage the house. I can be in and out sometimes in a matter of a couple hours. It's just a matter of rearranging some furniture and taking some pictures down that don't need to be there. Um, unless we have to go in and, and repaint or redo some kitchen cabinets or something. But yeah. Yeah, see, I would have to have you to come in and help me because I, I wouldn't even know where to start. I would be so lost in something like that because uh, I just don't think I have a lot of taste, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and I just don't think that I would be really good at that. Um, You'd be surprised. You probably have a really great style. It's just a matter of me listening to what you need mm -hmm. and what you want. Uh, there's two different things. <laughs> sure. Sure. And, and just going from there and then laying out. And you seem to be a person that would be good with maybe if I laid out three or four different items and then you just pick from that instead of overwhelming you with a lot of stuff. Yes, maybe two or three items <laughs> it might be better. Uh, I want to say hi to I want to say hi to Kina that's in the chat. It's good to see you, Kina. And then Apocalypse made his way over here. We've got uh, Diddy in the chat. Uh, today, guys, if you just tuned in, we are learning a little bit about interior design and we're learning about tiles, um, which, and I told, I told Randy at the beginning of the show, I said, look, you talk to me like I'm in the sixth grade because I know nothing <laughs> about any of this stuff. Um, now our, our good friend Nero, and she said, I said, she said, I said her name right nice. earlier. I'm, I'm good. I'm doing good. Nero, Nero, where are you from? Um, and also she wants to know, um, she's asking Randy, uh, will you please design for me sometime in the future? Right now, she's too young, but in the future, she wants your design. Absolutely. And listen, I've designed for 12-year-olds, for college students who were sitting in a dorm to, to people who were in their 90s. So it doesn't matter. Nice. And we've got Valerie in the chat now. Valerie, it's good to see you. Everybody's flooding in now, and the show's almost over. <laughs> yeah. Why do they do that? <laughs> Nobody uh, knows. Now, they can go back and listen anytime right here on the com, And then I'll also... Um, tweet out the uh, the link to the iHeart um, uh, spot later on too so they can go back and listen to that and if you have the iHeart uh, app on your phone that may be easier for you to do mm -hmm. Now you, you know what I did when I first met uh, Jenny and JT Terrell's new baby what did you do I took a business card out of my pocket stuck it in his hand and I said listen when you get older give me a call <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to market really it's, a, it's an investment you never know you never know <laughs> it's an investment it that's is what... i tell you <laughs> now where can people if people want to uh to check you guys out uh on the social networks um twitter websites where do they go what do they do how do they find you so <clears throat> um hi <laughs> i'm back <laughs> <laughs> we're at um a tile bar on twitter I am not. So we're not really so active on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I am. We're we're still getting our social media together. We've been so busy with a lot of things. Our next step is actually getting someone to run our whole social media department. Hmm. You can uh, get in touch with me about that. I'm pretty good at it. He is. Yeah. Oh, He's right. Like Maybe you can be our uh, our new a social media guy. You never know. We could we could even mascot. Yes. Well, who, needs, who needs social media when you have the Chris Pop program? That's true. And then I could just talk about you in the show. Have well. Abby be your mascot. She loves that stuff. Abby would make a good mascot. Abby's cute. We're looking for a mascot. I used to be the mascot, but I got promoted to brand ambassador. <laughs> he did. They had a they had a parade and everything. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I don't mind starting out a mascot. I was actually asked to be the mascot in high school. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> was. What was what was the animal that you had to be? It was, it was an Indian. 
Oh. It was an Indian. Uh, we were the Montgomery Central Indians. You don't have any Indian in you I whatsoever. Don't. I don't. That doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. I would have been a cool mascot. You know, I could have, yeah, I would have been cool. Okay. I'd look sexy with my <laughs> right. head feathers on and stuff. It would have been fun. It would have been fun. Did, uh, did you have to be a shirtless Indian? I don't know. Why do you ask me these questions? <laughs> Uh, so now, Randy, where can people get in touch with you at? Well, they can go right to uh, my web- website at magnoliaemporium.com or very easily find me on Facebook. As a matter of fact, I posted a couple links to some albums uh, in your feed on the uh, Chris program, the christopprogram.com. Mm-hmm. But uh, on Twitter, it's Magnolia Emporia. Um, and they'll see me tagged onto your feeds. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, um Pinterest, everywhere. But if they go to the Facebook page, that's the best way to find all the links. Sweet. And of course, in Charlotte, too. They can find me at my shop in Charlotte and South End. And I have a studio in Tequesta, Florida. But this is our home base right now, uh, right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Sweet. See, this is cool. I feel like I feel like we're all buddies, mm-hmm. and um, and I, I like this because I feel like I learned a little. Well, all right. Let me say it like this. Maybe I didn't learn so much, but I've been inspired yes. uh, a little mm-hmm. bit, and and I and that's that's good. And I guess that's what, yeah, and that's where it starts. I think when when you're getting prepared to change a room in your home, or when you're getting prepared to buy a new house, or start a new business and decorate. I think that's where it all starts. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, and. Um, and you guys are good people. Otherwise, we wouldn't have you on the show. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're very picky about who we have. So. Yeah, I gave a shout out in the, in the chat that anybody, all, for all your listeners, get an extra 5% off. Oh. And does that go for, uh, for both of you guys? Yes, as a matter of fact, yes. Sweet. Yes. And even Canadians. Even Canadians. <laughs> Whoa, they get nice. the Canadian discount. Nice. Well, 5% Canadian off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There you go, JP. Oh. You're, you got the hookup from mm-hmm. from, uh, from the Chris Stop program today. So I can have both you back on anytime I want to talk tile or interior design, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Sweet, sweet. We may we may um, figure out like some segments to the show or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometime. Love, we're actually uh, in our new in our new showroom in the city. We're gonna have a a little studio set up. Um, we're gonna have a tilebar.tv. Oh wow. Um, and we can actually really uh, broadcast one of your shows when you come to New York. Oh, wow. That would be fun. That would be fun. That would be I'm lots excited. of fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. when we open up our new marketing budget, I'll convince them to fly you guys up. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, Let's yeah. do it to it. <laughs> or when you come to Nashville, we can stop by any time. Oh, yes. I'll be in Nashville. It's on my list. It's on my bucket list. Well, and, and Nauru says she's from Nepal. Don't know if you guys know where it is. Well, I don't. <laughs> but she lives in Colorado. Also, she's in Colorado. I know where Colorado is. Yeah. Okay. We know where that's at. Yeah. Yeah. We could we could walk there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to. I don't think. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's it. That's a show. We went a couple of minutes over. Um, but uh, like I said, I think I I think I'm inspired now, um, and and that's good. That's good. I like knowing people that know things that I don't. Mm-hmm. Which is most everybody I talk to. <laughs> I, <guess. Aww>, Chris. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, did we miss anything? Is there anything else you guys want to bring up before we uh, before we uh, close the shop? Close it up. No, I appreciate the opportunity. It's it's always great to to sit and chat with uh, my buddy Jacob as well. Well, cool. Yes, I, I really um, honored that you had a Canadian New Yorker on your show. I, I think it's. <laughs> Ah. It's great to, I, you know, it really, really, this, this actually really inspires me. The fact that I met Randolph through Twitter, met you guys through Twitter, and mm-hmm. here we are talking here we are. in front of are. how many million people? Six million people? Who knows? Who knows? Well, like that, yeah. well, the iHeart app has, <laughs> um, the, the iHeart app, app actually has uh, 50 million users, so you never know. But yeah, I think that's yeah. inspiring just to be able to use social media to actually connect to people in real life and not just... Mm-hmm through social media it is sure. the, the, the whole world has changed because of social media mm-hmm. absolutely it really oh yeah. we could have a definitely have a whole show just on that uh-huh. uh, for sure. <laughs> and you know i gotta say i didn't even know how to use twitter six months ago um i still don't know how to yeah use i had I was just gonna say that ali <laughs> <laughs> I, I had had the the account um for a couple of years but i never used it it everything that i posted on facebook was was pasted on my twitter and that was about the extent of it and then I actually started using it, well, probably about four months ago, four or five months ago. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's, it's probably one of my favorite tools now. 
Um, I can tell you use it like twenty four. Yeah, but I've I've made more friends off of Twitter, I think, than anything else. Well, I um, think that Twitter's the only social media pl- platform that I can actually use to interact with people. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn you, is not an interaction. It's just you know following people and having them follow you back. Mm-hmm. And and but Twitter is really a platform that people use, and and if you use it right, just to be able to interact with people, get to know people. Um, people's personalities really come out on on Twitter. Sure, sure. absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, I, I and love people's it. drinking habits. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Randy's always talking about martinis. Yes. <laughs> he probably has a mini bar in his home. I bet he does. I bet it's the nicest mini bar you've ever seen. Too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I, what he I likes. Tile with mini bar. <laughs> that's why he likes tile bar. <laughs> right. Yes. The yeah, tile bar. Know? Jacob puts vodka and and tequila and all kinds of stuff in his sample boxes along with bags of Skittles. No, no <laughs> way. Amazing. No way. Nice. Really? Yep. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Every time we send samples out, there's a little bottle of tequila, a shot glass. I don't know if you have me on video Skype, but here you can see our our shot glass. Oh, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Um, and and our little tequila bottles. Oh, nice. oh, that's cool. That's legit. That's really nice. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we can get uh, a couple of those from you next time we do uh, something in Nashville. We can give them out mm-hmm. and promote or you I'll guys just, a little bit. Uh, I'll send you some of them to your address. We could, uh, you know, direct message or something. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we definitely like to do that. We could give some away at the next, uh, maybe at the Canadian Showcase when we do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, just not the alcohol. <laughs> right. Well, we might keep that. I don't know. We'll see. I, we'll I, see. I would tell you I'd drive it down, but by the time I get to Nashville, I'll probably all be gone. <laughs> <laughs> so that wouldn't, true, so that wouldn't work true. out. <laughs> well, thank you. That was cool. That was really cool. Uh, JP says he loves the Chris Top Pro. We love you too, JP. We really do. And we love you too, Nero. Thank you so much for listening. And and I say this all the time. And, and I mean it. If I didn't mean it, I would not say it. I promise you that. We do not, nor will we ever take any of you for granted because there is something else you could be doing. Mm-hmm. And probably a million things. And and you chose to listen to us, and, it, and that makes us feel pretty damn good. It really, really does. Uh, yeah. Um, of course, today they probably tuned in because they wanted to hear Magnolia Emporium mm-hmm. and Tile Bar. But I understand. Yeah. I can share. I can share. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, we would love um, to have uh, Randy maybe to have you on the show Tuesday to talk about uh, uh, your, your endeavors uh, that we discussed briefly before the show. Absolutely. I'd love to. And uh, we'll actually uh, start promoting that today. And um, if if you'll go to the site and you'll look at um, the christopprogram.com, if you'll scroll down or a little bit, uh, you'll see that we've got a couple of shows already lined up uh, for this coming Tuesday. We've got Susan Ann Langford on. She um, is actually uh, a screenwriter for a movie. It's called Bringing Down Goliath. It should be really interesting. Mm-hmm. And uh, then we've got our good friend, Elena, on the show. That's uh, This will be like her third show. And we, we see Elena perform all the time. Very, very talented. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've got those two shows lined up for 7 and 8 o'clock. And then we're going to put Magnolia Emporium in there probably around 5. There we go. And uh, then we'll talk uh, talk about what's coming up. Mm-hmm. All the exciting things that are in the works. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And there are, let me tell you. <laughs> well, I know there are because you, you told me some of this stuff. And, and uh, we're going to dig a little deep, too, because there's some, there's some questions that I want to ask you, too, uh, for sure. But you told me not to today, so I'm not. Mm-hmm. Save it for Tuesday. <laughs> now, do you want to take us out today, or do you want me to do it? I think I'll give it a go. You think you'll give it a go? All right, I I'll let I'll you do it. Yeah, don't it don't mess it up, okay? <sighs> well, um, uh, well, uh, <laughs> thanks, you guys. Uh, bye. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Chris Top Program. And until we broadcast again, please remember this: life is good, and we are gone. <laughs> Things might be looking grim I guess it's time